Welcome to a video talking about the best Town Hall 9 bases to use. I'm gonna have replays for each of them, so, and I'll give you the times below if you wanna just go take the screenshots, but these are all bases that held up one attack versus the best. These are invites, top clans in the league. Yes, one hive bases, again, gonna show them to you. So on this base, this was the fail on this and it held up. So take a screenshot of it and it's very, again, Town Hall 9 bases, you need anti-3 bases. Do not run any trophy bases, do not run any internet bases, do not run any of that stuff as Town Hall 9 or anti-2 star bases. You want anti-3, that's why you have the Town Hall on the outside and this is a powerful attack. Now, there's a couple things to note here. Now, a lot of time people are using like mass witches. This would hold up well against mass witches, I think, because you've got the expos here and bomb tower. Look at that bomb tower on the side, and you know he's got some giant bombs on the outside perimeter. It's probably as well as some Teslas, thus the danger of using mass witches. You can't always use these strategies. Now, this one coming in hot on the opposite side of the heroes. Now, why might you do that? Well, it, he's got to jump. He's doing a huge push into the base with his kill squad. Uh, and because of the second jump, he was planning to get to the queen. He, however, he ran into a Tesla farm. That Tesla farm just stopped everything in its trap. Track. Of course, you wouldn't know that on a first hit, but it doesn't matter. A must use base. Not enough firepower here to get the job done. Thus, it stops the three star. And when you can stop a three star at Town Hall 9, you know it's going to be good in your regular wars. These are going to be, again, if you're just an ordinary clan heck if even if you're a CWO clan take one of these bases if you're in the rising or light league take this base tweak it change traps around I always encourage that so there you go uh, a failed attack on that base so there's one let us show another hit shall we so here is another town hall 9 attack now this is another base as well that you need to be rocking because it withstood an attack take a screenshot of that sucker and see what's going on now if you're talking about traps and things you definitely could there's a couple ways to change this up you could rotate it you could flip it you could uh, change certain things as well as far as your, your bomb placements. You could even, if you wanted to change things up, you could change queen placement or king placement. You can play around with the base and do play around with it. Uh, again, this is withstanding this sort of mass witches, like you got the witch walk going on for him and it still withholds it and because there's a reason why. You got wizard towers on the perimeters. Look, bombs on the outside, that is stopping those bowler witch attacks that people like to use or the witch walk things of that nature so you notice also an island expo been seeing those as well so lots of lots of danger here and very difficult to get down doing a queen walk into kind of a witch walk just not quite enough firepower for scrub city but thus the power of the base so you gotta be rocking these guys please these are gonna be so much better than the ones you're probably running and I would say try to friendly challenge. So get with your clanmates, guys. Attack, have them attack these bases, and if they can, you know, easily three star it, change things around. Uh, see if it's better to look have a Tesla farm in a different location than say um, this one. But these are solid bases. Now, interesting to note, a lot of people don't know this. Don't ever put your Teslas together because if you have them directly together, not even a tile apart, one loon will take both of them out together. That's why you might see. I see it a lot on Town Hall nines. Any, a lot of town, even Town Hall tens. People put their Teslas together. I used to do that back in the day, and it's just not smart because one one giant, not one giant, but one loon drop, and they both go down, so it's definitely not worth it. So keep that in mind as well, okay? Uh, you notice, you know, on this base has tons of hit points over here, thus stopping kind of the push to the queen. He had the town hall, had a bunch of storages, so it makes it very difficult uh, to get that queen down on that side. So, another beautiful base indeed. Here is another town hall nine base. Take a screenshot of this, guys. Yet another defense versus defense. Now, if you don't know about CWL's Champions War League, the, the goal of Town Hall 9s, guys, if you can defend once, it's done its job. 
the Town Hall 9 has done its job because it's so hard to defend twice because you know where the traps are, you know where the Tesla farms are, things like that, and it makes a big difference. And in the upper clans, it's very hard to defend more than once. Yet it does happen still with us. So even in your clans, which are just the ordinary uh, ordinary clan, which there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, ordinary clans are fine, but you're gonna have uh, you're gonna defend even better because they don't know what to do. And these kind of awkward bases, again, a lot of, you can tell these are a lot of square type bases, very symmetrical type bases. And we I noticed that with one hive, we were talking about that in our clan that they did that. Sometimes you'll see more spread out bases, more awkwardly designed bases, if that's a word. Yeah, awkwardly designed or just kind of non like square type bases. Um, but this is an anti three square type. It's not like an internet trophy base where everything's kind of clumped together. Um, it's because it takes, it's very difficult and you have to use, look, you have to use quite a bit of spells um, to take care of these kind of structures here because everything so compartmentalized, spread out, so it makes it difficult to get that three star, and obviously it did because it held up. One Hive knows what they're doing. So again, uh, we're just talking about bases, and one great way to stop, if you know, want to know how to stop witches, my friends, if you want to stop witches, and maybe I'll do a video just on that. Actually, that's a great idea. I'm going to do a video on that, but so I'm not even going to give you the details. Come back and, and watch for more. Subscribe, baby. Subscribe. Subscribe if you want to watch how to defend against the witch walk, which is very popular these days. Shall ya? So yeah, give it a thumbs up if you like this video so far. Appreciate it. Want some comments? What bases are you rocking? Uh, do you need bases? And again, I've already talked about it before, but if you need bases, those who support me on Patreon, I will give, send you out bases. More than the ones I'm showing here, great bases, because you can't run the same base every time. And I noticed that with kind of the regular clans, they use one base and stick with it for months. You can't do that. Try to change it up, because um, you might face people who've seen the base already, or um, it's maybe it's been on YouTube because um, a lot of bases have been used before on YouTube and they know how to three star. So that's good to have at least three bases ready to go for war, um, if that makes sense. Okay, so give it a go. And hopefully you enjoyed today's video, my friends. These are some of the best bases in the land. So um, yeah, copy them, use them, tweak them, change the traps around. Uh, just so in case they watch this video because you don't want to run the exact same traps because they'll know where everything is and they can plan for it. But guys, thanks again for watching. I appreciate it. Please subscribe. Please continue to watch Clashology with Halo Okraheads and we'll see you next time. Halo out.